Hi YouTube, in this video tutorial I will show how to program Arduino for Start Delta Motor Starter. First of all, let's say a few things about the motor starter. This is the power circuit of the Start Delta Motor Starter. When the start button is pressed, the, the start contactor is uh, armed and after a few milliseconds the main contactor is armed. After the after a specific time interval the star contactor opens and uh, after a few milliseconds the delta contactor is armed and the motor is connected then to the delta connection. At any case when the overload protect protection is energized or the, or the stop button is pressed the motor must be stopped. La now let's explain the code, the uh, link for the code is on the video description everyone who wants to see the code can download it, can click the link so this is the code at the first part of the code the we defined uh, which pins will be used uh, for uh, the program so the pin number 7 will be the main contactor the pin number 8 will be the start contactor etc <coughs> excuse me at the second at, at the second part of the program we will do the, the we define the states of the pins the input and output pins that states will be used at the program running conditions in if statement and with that the variables we s simply will read if the pin or uh, if the output or input pin is uh, at low or high state and here are the delay intervals that will be used uh, the main contactor will be armed after 15 milliseconds that the main cont uh, that the star contactor is armed the start time the start the time that the motor will be run at the uh, at the start connection will be 10 uh, seconds and uh, when the start cont uh, contactor will be disarmed the delta contactor will be armed after 15 milliseconds also we use these two variables these variables are to read the, uh, the the time that the Arduino runs the programs. We use this variable because we don't want to use the delay function because of the delay function the program freezes for the delay that we want. Let's say if we have a delay of 10 seconds the program will freeze for 10 seconds and if the stop button pressed or the thermal overload protection will be energized the program won't stop the motor the Arduino won't understand the, don't understand that we have an input uh, change uh, the state of input is changed and that <coughs> the output state must be changed that's why we use these variables we don't want and we must don't use the delay function of this program at that part of the code we set uh, the pins that will be input and output and here is our main program in the, in the void loop first of all I use a, a function the inputs and output states so I read the inputs and the output states and according to this stage I have that if statements and I decide if the program will be executed well, and say what, what will happen in this function I will use reference because it's easy to me and, and there is no need to return variables it's, uh, I use them instead of pointers it's uh, more easy to use that uh, the reference instead of, point, uh, of pointers and I use it a lot 
at the, when the if statement is when if the, when this statement is uh, true, the, the starter begins to run, and I have that while loop. That while loop is not really and um, still in functionality. It is that will maintain the that will control all the states and uh, when uh, the thermal overload or the stop bottom spread or whatever that while loop will, will stop this if statement will be false and I will go to that and the program will go to that uh, else and stop everything at any stage is the program or the starter or whatever you want to say it that is why I use that while I use again that function so at every time that uh, this while loop exists I read the the states and this is the star contact or arm conditions at uh, that stage I read the the mills and that is where I idealize the, the mills variables so when the mills variables uh, uh, when this condition is true I go to that condition of these statements here is and uh, of these variables, uh, if this statement is true or false, I do again the same. Again, I the, again I give a new. I take the I read the new mills of the program, the new time that uh, runs the program, and I control at that point. At that point, so that's the way I find uh, the time and I force the 50 milliseconds, the 10 seconds or whatever I want using that variables in that state and at uh, this uh, uh, let's say at uh, the first at uh, the second if is where the main contactor is armed at uh, the third if the at the first, at the, th uh, at the first LZ opens the star contactor, and at the third LZ the star contactor, uh, so, uh, the sorry, the data contactor is armed, and here I read at every loop the mills, and I use the current variables for my statements. So at every step of the program at every while of that program it happens like again again uh, again the same so according to what if statement is true I have the inputs and the outputs so when the overload protection genocide of the stop bottom is put it's pushed it's pushed that while loop will be where is it the loop at an if or a z for at the while will be false so the loop will stop that if will be false again and and the else statement will be executed and then every contactor will be closed that is our thinking of the program thanks for watching see you in my next video that i will test the arduino code using an Arduino and so the execution of the program thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye